What's, What's good, good YouTube? YouTube? It's your girl Leah. And it's your boy D. And we're back with another video. So today we're gonna be jumping straight right in. So we had to move from the park to the car. It's too hot. Hmm. But anyways, basically, is ignorance bliss? <laughs> I want to say that honestly from a person who used to be ignorant herself some knowingly and unknowingly it's not I don't care what side of the spectrum you're on ignorance does mean lack of knowledge true but some people do choose to have a lack of knowledge meaning they choose not to learn about certain things because of their own reasons most of the time it's because they fear the information that they can learn out Facts. well they fear the information that they can learn so even if you fear something that's not an excuse for not learning the information for it and i used to be a person who used to like i used to tell my dad um a lot of information that he wanted to provide to me or he wanted me to learn I told him I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to look into it. I don't want to learn about it because I was afraid of it. And that got me nowhere. You cannot evolve mentally or consciously if you remain in a position of ignorance, if you choose to remain ignorant. And sometimes a lot of us, most of the times, we are forced to remain ignorant. And so it has to be nine times out of 10, your choice to become a knowledgeable individual and to elevate your consciousness yourself because nobody's going to force you or guide you there you have right. to make the decision to get there right. and honestly there's a lot of information out there that i think is very important to a lot of us and a lot of us should know and i think that we should begin to learn it because it'll help you out in the long run like it's it's so much shit. it gets so deep it really 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 does and I want to say this something my dad told me and i and i think it is something that you guys could should take into consideration is that so if you never want to learn about the dark side of things how could you protect yourself from it how could you protect your family you have to learn bro both sides of the coin and i for one didn't want to do that i just wanted to be in my own world peaceful you know in my own head even though the world is fucking burning i don't want to hear none of that shit i just want to be over here but when shit hit the motherfucking fan you are going to be the first one crying because you wasn't prepared you're going to be the first one crying and complaining because you didn't know something that you could have known if you took the time out to learn about it I honestly am now learning about things that I was afraid of. No matter what it is, I'm open to it. Open minds grow. Closed minds don't go anywhere. Closed minds stay in a state of lack, in a lack mentality. Because you're not willing to explore the depths of the universe. You're not willing to explore your consciousness or the consciousness of the world. You want to stay hidden. And we can't do that darkness is scary honestly it really is but how could you how but how could you protect yourself from the darkness if you're never willing to learn about it you're not going to know what to protect yourself from mm -hmm. and i want to say kudos to you pops because that was deep that's real that is <laughs> really and let me piggyback on what she said ignorance is not bliss because it's not cool like why do why would you want to stay in the dark why would you want to even create that illusion for yourself that everything's fine i had to really sit back and think to myself well, i used to think like life was just you being born go to school get a good job retire and die like that's how life was Sounds so boring yeah that's how life was looked at i'm like life should have just be getting a job going to school like that is a slave mentality a slave mentality like Man, it's more to the it's more to the world than that, and like she said, don't go ahead like for the information that you need to learn. Don't go ahead and ignore the information. We are we are accustomed to being in our comfort zone. So as soon as something enters our uncomfort zone, then the first thing we like to do is go in denial and say, "Oh, that's not true. This can't be true. No, 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 no." First of all, let's just listen to what somebody's telling you. Listen and analyze. 
before you even go ahead and judge. Because the first thing is going you want to do is you're gonna run and react with your emotions. You gotta start thinking logically, because we are emotional beings. It's just point blank simple. But you can't let your emotions get the best of you, because your emotions is gonna keep you in the past. It's not gonna keep you in the present moment. So therefore, you're creating an illusion for yourself that everything's everything's okay, man. If you right. will stop and just pay attention on what's going on in the world and leave all the sports alone, leave all the balloons and all this, all this distractions alone and pay attention to actually what's going on. We live in a very low vibrational state. Like planet, planet universe. Like we are in a third dimension universe. This is a hologram. The stuff that we're seeing, not even real, but we want to be ignorant and just live life and do these TikTok trends. Yeah, trivial things. Like, no, bro. Like, really, start digging into the information, bro. I want to piggyback on something you said, though. I want to put this disclaimer out there. Me and David are not trying to rain on your fun or your, mm -hmm. your parade. We're not trying to say that you have to give up your fun. But sometimes you need to know. You need to have that voice. And maybe we need to be that voice for you on when to put the fucking bullshit down because shit is about to or shit is already getting real. Mm -hmm. And you're not, you're not paying attention to it. Everything is an illusion. But it's also to an extent. And we're not going to get too deep into this because scientifically this could go on all day. Mm -hmm. Everything you think about is real. You. Anything you think in your mind that mm -hmm. you put your con concentration on, you can attract that thing into the third dimension reality. Mm -hmm. But as far as the third dimension goes, everything here is an illusion. It's only here because we put our focus and our energy on it. Yep. And there's a lot of things that we focus and put our energy on in this dimension that's on a low vibrational plane, and that's not healthy for well, us. Collective conscience. We are in our own right, our own consciousness, but we are a collective consciousness Which as well. Is for the universe. Exactly. Whether you want to believe that information or not, mm -hmm. it's proven every day. Every time something happens globally, it's because of a group of people who have a collective mindset, and they put their consciousness together to create whatever it is they're trying to create. That is a fact. If you don't understand it clearly about what I'm saying, I would recommend reading Hap Happier Than God. He explains it. And um, I want to say Joe Dispenza. Uh, what's that book we read? Supernatural. How to Sup be supernatural. Okay, yeah. Joe Dispenza, How to Be Supernatural. That explains it as well. But really, really, y'all, our job here is to have a good time with y'all and ourselves in our lives. But we also want to help raise the vibration of this planet. We move from the car outside again because it feels good. But let's continue the conversation. So, I just truly cannot fathom the fact that so many of us ask valid questions every day about our society and things that are actually truly wrong, but we don't take the action to act upon it. We don't even take the action to read up on it or find information on the true reason for certain things or if there even or if there even is a true reason for certain things. We just, like my lovely David will put it, bend over and take it. And I never been a person to just agree with that. I always questioned everything and I believe in questioning everything until you can find out more information about that thing. You truly know nothing. So why not question? But when we learn how powerful we are and stop looking outside for something and look inside for your answers, just sit down and ask yourself like, what steps do I need to take or what what do I need to learn to go about what I need to do in life? Like, for real, like I don't know why y'all okay with being puppets. And it's just a 1% controlling 8 billion some people. Like, it's, 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 it gets it gets bad and it gets irritating because it's like, really bro. think about it because yeah. there's so many things that we all can. One thing that I can say is, is this. There's so many things wrong that we can all disagree with. But right. because we're so focused on each other's beliefs and not the actual problems that we're all experiencing in the world, we just, we just decide not to associate with each other. We decide to divide. 
And so they're literally dividing us and conquering because there's so many things that can be easily fixed in this world, but instead we choose to suffer. We have free will with anything in life. Even if somebody's able to manipulating you into giving that up, which is what is being done. We are choosing to partake in a life that we don't agree with. Stop being ignorant. It's no excuse anymore. It's not an excuse. I don't care if it scares you. Like I was saying, how can you protect yourself if you're scared to learn about something? Being ignorant is a choice now. Just because you're scared about it doesn't mean you should learn about it. You can't protect yourself from information that you aren't aware of because you're too scared to learn it or you're too tired to learn it. Enough with the excuses. So many of us, too many of us, are choosing to be ignorant in our own suffering. I don't know who lied to us and told us that life's supposed to be so hard, life's supposed to be right. life's supposed to be suffering. Like, you gotta, you gotta get out that mentality. It, you make your life what you want it to be. Stop saying, oh, just stop. Like, they got, like, they got us manipulated so much that we just take anything. Like, say they come on the news and say, oh, y'all got to pay 80% of taxes. Y'all going to complain, 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 and make no that difference. Shit. <laughs> like, bro, like, it got to stop, bro. Like, it's, it's not cool. If you want to be successful, you got to start acting successful. If you want to be happy, you got to, you already got to be that. Don't look to become that. Already be happy. You gotta be it already to experience it. That's a good way of saying that. I get what he's saying. So, Basically, what he's trying to say is when you already being something, that's just like, let's say you don't like a certain circumstance that's going on in your life. You keep resisting that, it's just going to bring more unhappiness to that situation. Exactly. Accept the situation for what it is and choose your own perception. Like to piggyback off what he was saying, I agree. It's just like this. If you're in a certain situation or predicament, but you're unhappy with it, you don't like it, but you want to be happy and you think you have to wait until certain things take place in order for you to be happy, that's just going to bring more unhappiness to that situation. More of the story is ignorance is not bliss. It's only peaceful for a certain amount of time, but we want you guys to be as great as you can be, to have a life that you truly, truly, truly love exactly. and enjoy. And we want to raise the level of consciousness and the vibration on this planet. That is what we're here to do while also enjoying life at the same time. So we don't want you not to have fun, but we want you to pay attention and we want you to grow and learn. And so we're going to wrap it up. We're going to be dropping more gems like these as well as our other content. But anyways, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.